Woo! Building that distribution can take a long time, can it? Well, mine is finally finished up here, and you can see, I'll try to highlight the screen here. Yeah, there we go. Where it has completed, and when that distribution completes, we'll have everything ready to go in this disk directory here. And you can see that I've copied over down here towards the bottom of the terminal. I've copied over everything from the disk directory to a new Spark custom directory. So I'm gonna go to that directory now and start up a master and a worker. And then just a quick recall, what the error we were seeing was happening here and I know from research already that this particular third-party library, this web, WebSocket library, um, the one we're using is going to be using Scala 2. It's been compiled and has dependencies on Scala 2.11. And from the error we saw when we originally tried to deploy, it looks like we've got that kind of incompatibility. So we're going to deploy to a new custom-built distribution of Spark, one that has been uh, compiled with 2.11 support. So we've got, just to confirm, let's make sure we've got our uh, cluster ready to go. And we should. We've got our master and worker. And now I'm going to move over to a different terminal window. And let's try to deploy this same jar file but to our new distribution. So this was the original command. I'm going to bring this back now and call spark submit with our new... 211 distribution. So cross your fingers, here we go. Now, I'm going to spoil it for you because I know this isn't going to work either. So when it is deployed, I'm going to stop and highlight it and just walk you through the process of, you know, debugging here. There it is. Okay. What we now see is a different error. There's no such method error here. So I'm going to do a little bit of research on that and then come back and we'll figure out how to address that next error.